Right, so Eric's just getting a nice bit of exercise on the way to the field. He's having a little run. We're just going past the spring oats. They are slowly turning in the sun, slowly ripening. So as you guys will know, I um, re quite regularly change in uh, job, change in implement on this tractor. And one of, the, one of the nice features on this tractor is that when I hook up a new implement, all I have to do is I've if I've already got the profile saved is I just go to applications control setup and saves slash load and then I've already done it but I can just click on John Deere mowers and then OK and slow it up a little bit I wasn't gonna crash OK and then it uploads the profile for that implement um, so basically all the SCV controls that I have on these buttons and PTO speeds, things like that. Right, so it's Friday morning. Um, we're in the 621, no, 6215R. Stick you there. Uh, we've got a, a one three John Deere one three one mower on the front. Start that up, and then a five thirty on the back. Start that up. We'll start going forwards. We've got our PTO cruise uh, set to a thousand RPM, so I can just push that hand throttle right forward. Um, drop the front mower down on that button. The drone's up in the air, so hopefully that's going to follow us. We'll drop the rear mower down, and away we go. So, I've got about 150 acres. Does the drone come in or not? Hopefully it doesn't hit the tree. Um, I've got about 150 acres to cut today, so it should keep us out of trouble. Second cut. Well, the drone's following us, but it's looking into the sun, so it's probably not very good video. after about 15 minutes so uh, I don't think it was fully charged but I have got two other batteries so I'll try and do a bit more drone video in later um, yeah so yeah I'm still on the headland actually almost finished the headland I go five times around the headland so you need a massive you need a massive headland for this rear mower uh, but yeah I didn't actually film anything on Wednesday and Thursday um, yeah, last time you saw me was Tuesday afternoon, I think, when I cleaned out the sprayer. And if you haven't already watched that video, go and watch, go back to the last video and watch that. That was the be beginning of the week. Uh, now, yeah, Wednesday and Thursday I was topping. Uh, you might have seen on the drone actually, I was going around topping some of the grass margins around the outsides of the fields. 
So yeah, it's just making a start on those before we start harvest. And um, yeah, well yesterday afternoon actually I did put the mowers on. I blew the radiator out, put the mowers on, um, changed, turned the blades on the mowers, turned them so we've got a nice fresh set of blades. Um, so yeah, this is the last bit of mowing that these mowers will do this year. So basically they use one set of blades per season. So it's not too bad. It's only what about 170 160 hectares, no, 60 hectares twice over of haylage and then about 10 hectares of hay. So they don't do a massive amount. There's a really nice bit of grass out here actually. Ooh, pull you off the magnet. I'd say it's similar to first cut actually. Um, this is, uh, I'm in, in the same field, I've started in the same field as when I started first cut. Uh, this is the field, the new lay, where I planted back in September. Um, it's got quite a lot of white clover in it, I'm not sure if you can see. We're flying along at about 17k right now. I'm in the second field this morning now. And uh, it's a bit thin out here, it's quite an old lay. And obviously with the dry weather what we had after the first cut, it hasn't grown that well. There's a lot of short stuff out there, but um, yeah, so it could be worse. It could be worse. We could have had no rain at all and then there would be nothing out here. So, uh, I just thought, just thought I'd quickly show you the controls, what I'm using to control the tractor and the mowers. So, uh, obviously we've got the joystick, uh, we can pull back to slow down, or we can push forward to speed up. But I can push it to the right to, to engage the, the uh, cruise control. And then I've got two different set speeds on these buttons here, uh, which I adjust with this roller. So I can adjust my set speed with that roller. So if I press this one now, because we're coming to the headland, which I've got set to 10K, and, and then that one is set to 18K for you know the land work. So then I'm coming to the end. We're gonna press B up to lift the front mower up. And then I'm gonna press A up to lift the back mower up. And then we're gonna turn around. Obviously, we're using the uh, the Green Star GPS um, because it just saves a lot of time and just makes the whole job a lot more efficient. Uh, we've got number 12 on the joystick for auto steer resume, so it turns the auto steer on. And then we're going to drop the front mower down, drop the front back mower down, and then I'm going to press this one to speed up for the cruise. That's it, basically. I've got, uh, yeah, that's about all I'm using on the joystick. I've got this button here, C. I'm using that to slew the, the rear mower out and in. Oh, there's a fast track driving past. Right, so I'm finished down here. Uh, I'm gonna go up the track now to farm three and go and cut the grass up there. So, yeah, we'll uh, collect, try and get out on this main road. There's three fields done, um, probably about, oh, I don't know, uh, 20 hectares done out of 60, so we're not doing too bad, it's just about midday, and we're going to have a drive up the road. So we're just going into field number four. This is the uh, probably one of the yeah probably the biggest field. Just 12 hectares this one. So yeah, we'll be out here for a couple of hours.
Right, a slight problem. The tractor's just been overheating a little bit. I've just been sat here ticking over for a few minutes. Uh, she was right up on the red. Um, slowly cooling down, but uh, what I'll do is get out and have a look at the radiator. I'll probably just have to shake the screens out. It is saying it's 24 degrees out here. Yeah, the grids are all blocked up. I'm not going to leave my keys on the tyre because I'll probably drive off with them on the tyre. Have a look at this, look. Blocked up with seeds. It's quite quite often happens when I'm cutting second cut because there's a lot more seed heads. Pull that one out as well. Okay, so I've just finished another field. Um, so that is six fields done now. Um, I've only got about 10 hectares left, so, and it is six o'clock. I've literally just published um, Friday's video. So, yeah. I, yeah, so I'm gonna pack up here and head back up the track to do the last 10 hectares. Um, I just want to say thank you to the people that have, uh, have joined my channel membership. I think I've got um, 48 members now. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that. I you helping me to, to buy better equipment, things like this laptop. I'm able to buy things like that, which is going to help me, uh, you know, make my life a lot easier managing the YouTube channel. So if you have, if you um, if you want to look at joining the channel membership to support the channel, basically financially. Um, you can, I've just got to finish this little bit in the corner, you can go to my channel and next to the button that says subscribe, there's another button that says join. If you click on that, it won't instantly join you to the, the membership, it will just show you uh, what your options are, what's on offer if you join and um, how much it is and stuff like that so yeah by, yeah so go and have a look at it and support the channel if you wish uh, yeah I'll be grateful if you do thank you very much I've got to say if you do join uh, you get uh, early access to videos because quite often I will upload the videos at like seven o'clock in the morning but won't publish them till six o'clock in the evening so you get to you'd be, get to view the video from 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. and also I'm going to start doing um, some live streams, some members-only live streams, so you get to see those as well.
might be able to see out in the field. Simon's out there in the 6150R, uh, Ted in. He's got uh, the class 8 meter Ted on the back. And uh, yeah, I'm keeping ahead of him though. He's not caught me up yet. Um, I've, I'm 5.8 meters and he's 8 meters, or probably like 7.8 meters. Right, so it's uh, 10 to 7 in the evening. Um, I'm, out, I'm on the last field, thankfully, uh, because I'm starving. I did bring a packed lunch, but I ate it about 11 o'clock, so... <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't normally bring a packed lunch to work. Normally I go in for lunch, but... When I'm out, obviously, out in the tractor all day, I can't do that, so... I, uh, I ate it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to going home and getting some getting some dinner. Uh, so, I just looked at the weather forecast. Well, when I looked at the weather forecast this morning, they were saying... Uh, it was just going to be dark, you know, a bit dark cloud on Sunday. Uh, but then I just looked a minute ago, and now they're saying drizzle on Sunday. So that's not what we wanted to see. Um, we were pl hoping to be bailing this on Monday. So, but if it gets rained on, then uh, I should think we'll probably be tedding on Monday and bailing on Tuesday. So. No. Oh, well, keep your fingers crossed, hopefully it won't rain. As you can see, I've left the bumpiest field till last. Uh, the other reason is because it's got loads of mole hills in it, so I did cut this one last because the mole hills, they really blunt on the, the blades, and uh, we don't want blood blades. It slows us down and burns more diesel, so. But talking about fuel, um, if you remember in the last mo in the first cut mowing video, I'm pretty sure it was about 350 litres I used for that cut when I cut it in a day and I won't be using anywhere near as much as that this time um, well I don't think I will be I've still got 40% fuel so uh, yeah it all depends on I didn't think about it at the time but it all depends on how thick your grass is I guess doesn't it, it depends on how much fuel the tractor will burn how much harder it works the tractor but uh, there's a branch, went under a tree. Um, oh yeah, I'll fill it up this evening and, and let you know how much fuel I've used today. Mowing's finished. That was just over 12 hours of mowing. Um, yeah, it's eight o'clock now. So yeah, I would have liked to have done a bit more outside filming, but I was in a, I've been a bit pushed, so um, yeah, I'll have to do that another time. Next year, I'll do more outside filming. Um, it's just not easy when you're in a bit of a... it got to get on. You haven't really got time to keep getting out and moving the GoPro around. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going back to the farm now. I'm going to drop the mowers off because I need to use the tractor tomorrow to pick up those last bales of hay. Um, yeah, I'll wash the mowers off when i got more time. Next week, maybe. Uh, before we start combining. I'll make sure I wash them before we start combining but yeah, I'll go and take the mowers off and fill up with diesel and then I'll and add blue and I'll let you know how much diesel and add blue I use. Liters. Um, so that's five liters per hectare, two liters per acre, and 25 liters per hour. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, right, I'm going home now. I'm going to go take the dog for a walk. If you uh, want, did wonder where Eric went, I, I dropped him home after the first field, so he's been at home most of the day. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.